referring to uh, what has uh, been said, uh, I am not an expert. Uh, I have uh, been working for a, a company that does U.S. government contracts now for three years. Before that, I worked for uh, other companies, but not uh, with companies that did U.S. government contracting. So I'm more or less completely new to this uh, subject. Um, in the past three years, I had some uh, experiences, and um, I want to share them with you. Um, and I'm a European-based company, so especially from the angle of a European com company. And also, um, 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 yeah, more or less, that's, that's it. Uh, so, what are the subjects that I will going to touch on? That's more or less the first encounter that I had with, uh, with FAR and cost and CAS, cost accounting standards. What you will see in my presentation is I'm a finance manager. So I will uh, take the angle from finance, not so much from sales or from procurement, but more or less from finance, and what kind of risks that I see, and what kind of, kind of learning curve that I had. So I will discuss the complete presentation based on the learning curve. Um, the audits were quite amazing. Uh, the first audit that I had was very interesting. Um, things like materiality and those kinds of topics are, I would say, almost unknown to DCAA auditors. Uh, very difficult to discuss. So even though there is materiality mentioned in the DCAA audit manual, uh, the DCAA auditors uh, often say one dollar mistake is a mistake and you need to correct it. So that's going to be interesting. What I also wanted to point out is, is the size of uh, the US budget. That's enormous. Uh, they spent 3.8 trillion uh, dollar a year. And especially if you take the defense part, it's 672 billion dollar in a year. So they are a big, big customer for a lot of companies. And the last sentence, don't forget it. The US spends more on defense in 2012 than did the countries with the next 10 high